Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here, AKA Empowered Para. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I get all that laundry down those stairs to my laundry room in the basement and how I get all the loads of laundry back up when I'm done. I live in a bungalow which is uh, a house with two floors and there is a small set of stairs to get in and then you're on the main level and then there is a, a long set of stairs to get down to my basement. Um, my laundry room is in the basement so I've always had to get my laundry downstairs to do it and for a long time I struggled with finding a way to get the laundry up and down the stairs easily and so I often relied on my husband to carry the loads up and down, but then I just got sick of that. So I eventually figured out how to get all of the baskets and bins up and down the stairs using my lift and doing it independently. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that now. So I have three different laundry baskets. Here on the right is a plastic sort of solid laundry hamper. In the middle is a traditional laundry basket. And then on the left is a fabric or canvas a laundry hamper and I'm going to show you guys how I get all of these down the stairs and then I'm also going to talk to you about which one of these is my favorite and why. So the first thing that I have to do when I'm getting my laundry down the stairs is I have to get whatever basket that I'm taking down um, close enough to my lift so that when I transfer onto my lift I can reach it from the lift uh, and I'm going to start with the plastic rubbery um, sort of solid laundry hamper first and I'm going to show you guys how I get down the stairs with that one. First things first, I got to get over by my lift and I drag the hamper as close to the lift as possible so I just sort of put it in front of it Then I get close to my lift and I transfer on swing it, my lift swings um, out into the hallway and then back into the staircase uh, just so that it's easier to transfer. And then I get the, the laundry as close as I can to my lift uh, before I start heading down the stairs. So now that I'm on my lift and I have the basket close to me, I start heading down the stairs. And once I'm a little ways down, I hook this handle on the armrest of the lift. And then I keep squeezing the handles together. And then I just let the basket bump down the stairs with me as I go. All right, so now that I'm at the bottom of the stairs, I take the basket and I tip it upright and put it on the bottom stair and just set it there while I get into my wheelchair. So now I'm in my wheelchair and I just drag this off the stairs and then I will, I'm just going to put it around the corner and then I'm going to go back up for the other baskets. So now I'm going to take um, these other baskets downstairs and I'm going to start with this canvas one, but I'm going to drag them both close enough so that I can just grab the other one when I get done with this one. So again, I have to uh, drag the basket that I'm taking down close enough to my lift so that I can reach it when I'm on my lift. And then I just squeeze these handles together and I don't have to hook the handle 
onto the armrest for this one. I just have to sort of lean the bag on my lift when I'm going down. And again, I'm just gonna bump it down the stairs. I'm gonna just take this bag and set it in the corner and go back up for the other one. And then I get it to, as close to the edge of the stairs as I can without it sliding down. And I go, I go down until the, the armrest of my lift is about even with the basket um, rim. And then I pull the basket rim close to the handle and rest it on the armrest. And then I go down a little bit more until the basket straightens out. And I make sure that as much of the um, as much of the basket edge as possible is resting on the armrest. And then I just bump it down the stairs like I do the other ones. workout uh, and as you can see I have a top load washer so I'm going to show you guys how I get the laundry in and out of that okay so I'm going to show you guys how I get the laundry in the washing machine not that complicated it's not like it's any more difficult for me to get something in a top load than it is a front load but I wanted to show you guys the whole story so <laughs> I'm doing it So, um, naturally I forgot about the laundry yesterday, like I always do, so I'm a day behind in the laundry, but, um, yeah, now I'm going to show you guys how I get the clothes out of the washing machine, because it's a top load, so I have my reacher here, uh, and I get as many clothes out as I can, just reaching in, uh, near the top, and then when I can't reach anymore, then I use my reacher. But as much as I can reach, just reaching with my hand. So now I'm gonna use a reacher. wondering why don't you get a front load I like my washer because it's really big and so I can wash lots of clothes in less loads which is easier for me I guess in the end so that's why I don't get a, a front load and that's it that's a workout too
Hey guys, uh, it is day three of me trying to get my laundry done and forgetting about it. So uh, I'm just switching the load or I'm just getting the load out of the dryer um, that I put in there the other day. And then I'm going to spare you guys having to watch me do the other two loads that I was doing, but I'll catch up with you guys when I am done all three loads. And then I'll show you how I get all three basket types up the stairs. All right, I have all that done. I'm going to drag this laundry over to the stairs. Uh, and then I'll get the other two loads done and I'll show you guys how I get the baskets upstairs. Okay, so now that I'm on my lift and I have the basket beside me, uh, I take the handles of this basket and I squeeze them together. And then in order to get it up the stairs, I lift it up onto my lap. I basically do a, like a big bicep curl to get the basket on my lap and then I pull it up so far uh, that I can reach with this other hand and then lift under the basket with my other hand to boost it up onto my lap and then I go up the stairs. Okay, and then when I'm at the top of the stairs, I just sort of push the basket off my lap into that little spot, slide it over, and then I can turn my wheelchair, uh, or I can turn my lift and get back in my wheelchair. Uh, I'm gonna go back down for the other laundry though, so I'll show you guys how I get the other baskets up uh, in a minute. Okay, so for this load of laundry and in this canvas basket, I can either lift it up onto my lap, and it's easier because the basket's way lighter, uh, or I can hang it on the handle of the uh, lift. So since I already showed you guys with the other basket how I get it on my lap and take it up the stairs, I'm going to show you with this canvas uh, laundry hamper, how I take it up the stairs just hanging on the armrest of the lift. Okay, so now that I'm at the top of the stairs and the, I have the canvas bag hanging on the armrest of the lift, I just slide it off, make sure I don't drop it. And then I grab it, I hold on with my elbows and switch arms and then just swing it over to the landing. And then I turn my uh, lift to get in my wheelchair uh, and then I would get in my wheelchair, but I'm going to go back down and get the other load of laundry and show you guys how I get the last basket up the stairs. Okay, so this basket, I normally don't actually take it up the stairs because it's really hard to get up the stairs, but just for fun and just for you guys, I wanted to see if I could figure out a way to get it up the stairs. So I'll show you guys what I figured out. Okay, so I wedged the basket up against the lift like this so that I'm able to reach this handle when I get back on my lift. Okay. 
So I tied a skipping rope to the handle of the basket and I'm going to use the skipping rope to drag the basket up the stairs. And the first time I tried this, I, I had the basket tied really high up onto the handle, but then the basket just tipped when I went up the stairs. So I figured out that I have to put a lot of slack on the skipping rope so that the basket can hang down um, on the stairs and just ride the stairs up sliding. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. But I made sure that it has a, I tied it in a knot so that I could hook it on the handle and that it, it wouldn't let go and just fall down the stairs. Okay, so the top of the stairs is the tricky part because I have to somehow get a heavy basket up the stairs and get in my wheelchair and then pull it up without my wheels, without the basket pulling me down the stairs. So we'll see how this works. Tying a tighter knot in the skipping rope at the top. <laughs> to try and get turned all the way around. chair is too close, it won't let me turn all the way. There, locked it. Give me up so I can get into my chair. Okay, now, now the task of getting the basket up. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, lock my brakes so when I hold onto the skipping rope and release it from the arm of the thing, it doesn't pull me down the stairs.
All right, so I got up the stairs. I don't normally do that, but I just wanted to do it for fun just to show you guys that it is possible. Um, and I would probably get faster at it if I did it over and over again. I'm gonna tell you guys which basket I prefer uh, for getting the clothes up and down the stairs um, right now. Okay, so now I've shown you guys how I get all three of these baskets down the stairs and all three of these baskets up the stairs. The last one, this one wasn't a pretty picture, but at least I showed you how uh, I could do it if I had to, if that was my only option. Um, but my favorite um, laundry hamper to get clothes up and down is the canvas one. So the, the brown one used to be my favorite because it's flexible and I could lift it, but it was heavy. Once I got all the clothes inside, the basket itself is pretty heavy. And then once you put clothes in it, it made it even heavier. And so trying to get it up on my lap was sometimes really difficult. So when I found this canvas laundry hamper, um, though it's not as sturdy, uh, which is sometimes difficult, so I can't push it um, to and from the laundry room, I can lift it easier. So uh, it's my favorite because I can hang it on the armrest of the lift to get it up. I don't even have to lift it up. And then I can just swing it in front of my legs onto the landing like I showed you guys. And then if I do have to lift it, because the bag itself is so light, it doesn't add any extra weight other than the load of clothes that's in it. So that one's my favorite. I did get it at Ikea. I'll put a link down in the description below for the actual, um, for the actual product that I got um, so that you guys can check that out if you want. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing and leave me a comment below with any suggestions you have on how I might be able to do my laundry faster or easier. I also want to take a quick minute just to thank everybody that's subscribed so far and everybody that's watched my videos. I've only been at it a month and I can't believe how many views I've gotten. So that means so, so much to me. And I hope that my content has been super helpful for you guys. Also, let me know in the comments if there's something that you want me to do a video on, if there's something that you're curious about or something that you're wondering about, I'd be happy to do a video on it. I also want to let you guys know that my uploading schedule is currently on Saturdays. So that's when you can catch all of my new content. I might start uploading twice a week. Um, so I'll let you guys know if I end up doing that. But for now, um, I'm just uploading on Saturdays. So that's when you can catch all my new stuff. Again, I appreciate you so much for watching and I will catch you real soon on the next video. And I... I hope you guys help. Bye.